Hey guys, I welcome back to the channel. I'm Terrence. So today's video is about Network Plus and all of the confusion that's surrounding it. Uh, there's a lot of myths out there about things about it that's just not true. And of course, there's things about Network Plus that's true. Uh, the goal of this video is really just to break those down. I have about five of them that I want to cover with you. And uh, you're going to walk away from this video with a better understanding of Network Plus. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so let's talk about myth number one. A lot of people say that Network Plus is useless. No, Network Plus is not useless, let me tell you. Uh, the way that it works is it's a good certification to have if you're trying to build a foundation uh, in networking. If you're trying to learn about protocols or if you're not too sure what the terminology is about networking or if you're not sure how routing works, Network Plus is awesome because it teaches you all those things. No, it doesn't teach you everything about networking and no, you won't be a, like an expert in networking, but you'll have a good foundation. And I think that's good when you're trying to enter into any type of entry level position, whether there's help desk or whether it's like IT support, uh, having a good foundation, like I, I can never stress enough, it's always important. So no, uh, networking is not useless, guys. So myth number two, a lot of people say that Network Plus actually equals the CCNA. Now, I'm going to have to say here, no, Network Plus does not equal CCNA. Uh, Network Plus, CCNA, those are two separate uh, certifications, okay? Uh, when it comes to the CCNA, that's more of a vendor-specific type of certification. So what that means is you're going to get more in-depth specifically uh, into Cisco devices. Now, Network Plus, that's more of a like what they call vendor-neutral. So they basically cover a broad range of of networking terminology. And uh, no, it doesn't give you specific information on specific uh, devices, if that makes sense. Myth number three, you don't need Network Plus if you have experience. And I'm gonna have to say not necessarily or not all the time. The way that that works is if you have like tons of experience, that's great. Like when if you go apply for a job, uh, you tell them the experience that you have, they'll probably more than likely hire you if you have networking experience. Uh, on the other hand, Network Plus, it can actually get your foot in that door uh, when it comes to HR and it just comes with them running you in their system and picking out your application over someone that actually doesn't have, um, like doesn't have a cert, you know what I'm saying okay so here's myth number four having network plus is actually going to guarantee you a job uh, uh, uh no th that's definitely not true so having network plus it doesn't guarantee you a job uh having network plus what it does is it actually shows a possible recruiter or a company that you know how to stick with something uh for extended period of time and you know how to actually study you know how to actually get something done you know how to set goals and obtain them that's all the certification does it lets them know that you have maybe a uh a base knowledge of information and basically what I would do is I would combine that with labs and projects and I think you'll be gold or you'll be good to go. Okay, so this is myth number five, and that's the last one that I'm gonna cover with you. Uh, Network Plus certification is only for people that want to be engineers. Um, I'm gonna have to say, definitely, that's gonna be a myth. Network Plus is for anybody in IT, anybody that wants to learn, anybody that's trying to uh, further their IT career, uh, Network Plus is gonna be for you. And uh, it's not just for people that want to be engineers. Yeah, engineers actually uh, maybe have Network Plus or they maybe have a CCNA or something like that. But no, you don't just have to have that. It can be for anybody, it can be for high school, student. It can be for maybe your mom or your dad, uh, brother, sister, just anybody that wants a foundational knowledge of how networking works. Uh, that certification would definitely be perfect for them. So, yeah. Okay. So let's go back over this one more time. So yeah, having Network Plus is definitely not useless. It's a great foundation of information to get your foot in the door, to get an IT job, to get a help desk job. That'll help you definitely do it. Uh, Network Plus and the CCNA, those are going to be slightly different. The Network Plus, that's more of a vendor neutral certification. And then the CCNA, that's going to be more of a vendor specific uh, as far as like a certification. You're going to go more specifically into Cisco routers and protocols and routing. You're going to do everything Cisco when it comes to a vendor specific. All right. Now, you can still actually have experience and not have the Network Plus certification and actually get an interview and actually get a job just by having maybe two years of networking or three years of networking experience. That'll help you actually get a job. If you have the Network Plus certification, plus you have that experience, that's even better. Uh, if you just have the Network Plus certification, uh, that's fine too. As long as you can demonstrate that you can do the job and that you know what you're talking about, then you're fine. You can get the job. You know, we shouldn't stress too much about that. Uh, the next one is uh, no, uh, 
having the network plus certification, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'll actually get the job just because you have that cert. All right. What I would do is if you have network plus is definitely couple that with uh, home labs. You want to couple that with projects and I think you'll you'll be OK. Um, and then lastly, the network plus that's going to be for everybody. You know, you know, it's just not for network engineers that are trying to get in the field. And network plus can be for your parents. It can be for your friends, somebody that's just trying to learn how Internet works. Yeah, it's going to be for you, not just for them. Hey, I wanted to keep this video nice, short and sweet for you guys. I hope you got a lot of good information out of it. I hope you can use some of the things that you heard. That'd be great. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys. But uh, like I say, uh, keep God first. Everything be good and see you guys in IT.